And just like that, as we can see, it says successfully created post with ID uh, one and two. So that's two new posts to my website. Let's have a quick look. Let's go on my Shopify store. How do cats communicate with each other? And why is play important to cats? I really hope this isn't live on my website because that would be really bad because this is a classic menswear website. Let's just quickly make sure. Yeah, okay. I have to delete these right now before anyone sees them. Let's delete, delete blog posts. Okay. So let's get into how to do automated blogging on Shopify. So as a follow-up from yesterday's video, I had a lot of people asking me whether I could add a Shopify part to the script. So I'm going to make a very similar video to yesterday's video, but this time I'm going to show you a few more things, how to customize things, how to create content about specific topics, and also how to set it up for Shopify instead. So for this to work, you are going to need an app on Shopify. So let's just start with that. Go on Shopify and you basically want to find apps and you want to click on apps here and then click on apps and sales channels settings. Click on develop apps right here and then you need to create a new app. Doesn't really matter about the name. Let's just give it a random name. The reason that we need to do this is because this is how it basically will talk with our store. So once you're on here, you want to click on API credentials and you want to, let's click configure admin API scopes first. And we want to select all. So I'm going to have to do this manually, I think. So basically just tick all of these boxes one by one. So that is the admin API. And then we're just going to quickly do the storefront API. I actually don't know what's necessary here. So I'm just adding everything again. I can't even see blog, so I'm not sure how this works exactly. But yeah, just tick everything just to be sure and then press save. So we now have our app. It now has permission to do everything on our website. So let's click on API credentials again. And we will install the app right here. This adds the app to two men or to your Shopify website. It allows you to speak with your website basically. I will be deleting all of this information at the end of this video. So please do not bother trying to copy this and trying to like get into our system. This is going to be deleted, but basically you need this code right here. So press reveal token and make sure to put it into a notepad or something. And then we'll get this as well. And we will get the API key as well. I'm not sure what this number is right here, but yeah, we'll just get all of them basically. So that's the first part. The second part we need is the uh, store admin. So basically, I don't actually know how to find this, but it's this right here. So you can see it when I click on it. Mine is called Two Men It. Okay, so let's just try and grab it. It's called. Okay, we'll just copy it like that. Basically, that was kind of complicated how I did that, but. Because it has a redirect, it won't really let you grab it easily. But you need this uh, this little URL right here. And let's just see if we need anything else. The other thing we need, of course, is our OpenAI API key. So let's create a new one for this. This will be deleted at the end of this video as well. Let's copy this, put it here. And then let's just see if there's anything else we need. Uh, yes, the blog ID. So the way that we get the blog ID um is we'll go on to our website and i want to post it to our journal so i'll click on journal and then you've got to right click inspect here there might be an easier way way to do this this is just how i do it then press Control f and then i think it's rfid no rid maybe yep rid you can see right here it says um, eight, nine, one, nine, blah, blah, blah. Let's just press I, I, uh, R I D a few more times. Let's press enter. Okay. Actually, let's do control F and instead we'll write this number here. So you can say, you can see it says that this is the ID throughout. This is basically the ID of the blog. Okay. So my blog is called a journal of the journal. So you can see that's how you get your RID right here. So now we have all of this information. It's now time to move on to the auto blogger. So go to github.com slash income stream surfer slash auto blogger. There will also be a link in the description. 
This time we're gonna do it a little bit differently to the video yesterday. So again, you need Visual Studio Code. I'm, I have to say this every video. Download Visual Studio Code, download Python, and you have pretty much everything you need. Okay, once you've got Visual Studio Code, click on Terminal, New Terminal, and then you wanna write Git clone and then control V and then we'll just call it auto blogger. If git clone doesn't work, oh, it means uh, that you don't have the auto, you don't have the git clone system. So just Google how to git clone and find out what you're missing basically. So we should now have this. So let's click on open file and then we're going to look for auto blogger one and we will open up the folder i always press open file when i'm in open folder it's so annoying okay select folder okay we now have my scripts that i've already talked about but this new one is the shopify script so it's shopify.py so we have to put all of this information from before in so let's do that quickly this is my open ai key so we'll put that here uh one of these two is the shopify AI key, I'm actually, oh, a, API key. I'm actually not sure in this case which one is which here. So we'll just put a random one here and hope it's the right one. So that should be the API key. And then the one time reveal password is the password here. And then you just need the two men it part of this right here. And then the blog ID goes in blog ID. And then your author name, uh, it should be Pia Giuseppe. I'll have to check that though. Um, but yeah, that should be everything already. So if you want to write, you know, if you want to change the prompts or anything like that, it's the same as yesterday's video. It's these two prompts right here where it says role system. It's the system part of the prompts, just like in the playground. And then this is where you give it specific instructions. It's the same here. Now I wanted to quickly mention something that you can do, okay? Because we are inputting from a CSV right here and we have description of page, for example, meta title. If you want it to specifically write about, um, let's say you want to write 500 articles about, you know, the best things to do in Berlin, okay? What you can do is you can scrape the internet for that information, put it into the CSV, and then all you need to do is call this. Um, so you can see here when I'm creating the essay outline, the way that I make it write about different things is I say create an outline for an essay about and then meta title in curly brackets. OK, that means you can write about anything with no limits and you can basically get it to write 500 different articles about 500 different topics. The way that we do that is with the input. The input is the important thing, and then you can just change this. So let's say you want to use description. Instead, you could change this to description, and now it will write about uh, the description instead of the meta title. However, my system right now is perfect, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. We're going to go to new terminal now, and I have updated this script to have better tracking. So if I do python shopify.py, We'll see if this works. There might be a few problems. I might have forgotten to do this, that, and the other, but we'll basically just see if this works and how long it takes. The main thing uh, is because we're using GPT-4, it does actually take a little bit of time. So the time right now is 1918. So we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so after uh, about five minutes of writing, which is about the standard for this kind of operation, to be honest with you, if I scroll down on two men, there should be a new article, which of course there is. That is beautiful. Look at that. I could actually keep this up, honestly. This is good enough to be on. Oh, no, it's not because the internal links are wrong. Unfortunately, because I'm, I was using my old model of internal links, this article will have to be deleted it's really really it's a really really well written article this is the kind of stuff i write anyway with chat gpt so it's really really nice to see that we can auto blog this quality of content as well uh the other one is taking a little bit longer for some reason so i think i'm just going to end the video there but as we can see the content produced is 1741 words uh, I, I don't really know what the cost of that would be, but we can see the overall great article.
So just in case you didn't watch yesterday's video, the way that you do the internal links is inside the prompt as well. I should have mentioned this before, I just kind of forgot. But if you scroll along on this prompt right here, so it'll be the second prompt, uh, the second system prompt. If you scroll all the way along, you'll see that this is where you store your internal links, okay? So it says create relative links using the following relative links. That's a bit confusing. Contextually throughout the article, use a maximum of five. And then all you need to do is put your links like this, okay? Really, really simple process. You can get your links from loads of different places. You can get them from your sitemap. You can get them from Search Console, whatever you want to do to get your links. You don't have to write HTTPS your website.com slash. You just have to write literally slash, and then it becomes a relative internal link. What does that mean? Well, if I click on, for example, this internal link here, it will take me to twomen.it slash how to wear a suit which doesn't exist obviously because these are my old links. But yeah, basically that's the entire process for Shopify. You now have a way to auto blog for Shopify as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.